year begins with NFP. Hello and Happy New Year. We wish you the best and a great year ahead. While the first week of every year starts with the slowly coming back to the markets by the big players and they start their trades step by step, the Omicron variant and its possible combination with the Delta variant of coronavirus is the main concern at the moment. The week ahead mostly will be about the US employment data and open class meeting. Let's see the most important events and data in the first week with the IFC markets updates at the end. Number 1. Open class meeting. While Monday most markets will be closed, eyes will be on OPEC and its allies meeting known as OPEC Plus meeting on Tuesday. Ministers meeting of OPEC and known OPEC members will be about deciding whether they will add another 400,000 bottles per day of production to the global supply or will hold the current plan. The consensus expectation is that the allies will probably stick to the current plan of adding 400,000 bottles per day. And they will not increase it, even thought if Omicron has caused a shadow over the demand outlook heading into 2022, however, many countries are still suffering the energy crush. Therefore, the demand is higher than supply and overall outlook for the oil price is positive. Number 2. PMI numbers. One of the most important data in the economy is purchasing manager index number. PMI numbers in different sectors tells us what we have to expect from different economies and sectors. In the first week, we have to follow the PMI numbers from the all major economies including the US, China, Japan, UK, Eurozone, Germany and some other European countries. In the US, the ISM index is expected to dip to the 60.5 from 61.1 in November. While for the Eurozone and Germany, we are expecting that the composite PMIs for December to stay unchanged at 53.4 and 50 respectively. Number 3. Eurozone inflation and retail sales. In the week ahead, we will have plenty of data from European countries and generally from Eurozone. Turkish inflation numbers on Monday, Swiss and France numbers on Tuesday, Italian numbers on Wednesday, Germany's inflation numbers on Thursday, and finally, Eurozone numbers on Friday will make it clear for us that what we have to expect from the next ECB meeting. Eurozone inflation jumped to 4.9% year-over-year in November and it is expected to decrease to 4.7% in December. Eurozone retail sales numbers on Friday are also expected to contract to the minus 0.5% in November. Therefore, European Central Bank will keep its current policies with no change in the short term in the interest rate policies. These estimates means more pressure on the euro in the midterm outlook. Number 4. NFP and FOMC minutes. On Wednesday, the FOMC minutes of December meeting were released and should provide a clear idea of Federal Reserve 2022 economic outlook and its policies. On the other hand, US employment data including GOLT's job openings for November on Tuesday, ADP numbers on Wednesday and non-farm payrolls on Friday is the event of the week. After November's missing surprise and increasing COVID-19 cases in the recent weeks, analysts are forecasting an increase of 400,000 jobs in December, which caused the unemployment rate lower to 4.1%. Average hourly earnings are also expected to decrease to 4.1% from 4.8%. Overall weekly data is still positive and expected to support the US stock markets. And finally, the important update from IFC markets. The 15th anniversary promo is in full run. Dear traders, you still have the chance to participate in the promo and become one of the lucky winners. IFC Markets has prepared many cool prizes for you. See for yourself. Dream Cruise for two who bought gold watch, iPhone 12 smartphones, Apple MacBook Pro, laptops, iPad, Air tablets, and lots of bonuses. And don't forget about the grand prize. Mustang Match E Electronic Sport Car. 
It's a good chance to test your knowledge, especially when such a cool prizes are played out. Thanks for being with us and hope the first week of 2022 will be an amazing week for you.